take a look at the updates on the daily and weekly bullish and bearish breaks. I uh, didn't really have anything yesterday. I didn't think the market was going to do a whole lot, which uh, turned out to be true. So I didn't think we had much merit, so I chose to watch Zuckerberg testify. But here's our update today on the markets and what we have on our recap sheets. Going to start with the Dow. And pretty much a few weeks ago, I said we were going to spend a lot of time in this area between this overhead trend line and the 200 days, which is slowly coming up here. And we're spending a whole lot of time in here. We've held up well. A uh, whole lot of things going on. There are some stocks starting to move on their own a little bit, uh, sector-wise and so forth. So you can pick some trades out there, but you really got to hunt and pick. I spent most of today just pretty much on Facebook because I knew it was in play. and. Gave some good trades off of that. Picked up a UNH uh, one time. And a little Netflix cap here and there. Here's the SPY, pretty much the same picture. We're just sitting in these zones here. SPY spent a whole lot of time between yesterday morning's action pre-market. Uh, had some highs and some lows, and it just kept bouncing in there all day long. Uh, no real uh, movement in any direction or, or the other. This is uh, can be adjusted here a little bit. And take it out actually. A little trend line I drew a couple of days ago. We still got this big trend line, which eventually I'll move up here. But for now, I got it here. I think it's an issue to get through. There's our 50-day coming down. We got our 200. We're just laying in here, uh, chopping around inside day to day. Anything can happen. If we gap up tomorrow and we break this line, we want to stay above it. If we gap all the way up into the 50-day, which would be highly unlikely, uh, look to reject it and pull back. It's not just going to splurge right through there to begin with. But if we do gap up, we want to stay above this line. I don't think we're going to gap up. I hope this morning we gap up, hit this line, and sell off and get something at least productive, we ended up gapping down and really couldn't find hardly anything uh, to depend on today. That's my ES mini chart from about lunch on. We had the uh, move up this morning, continued up a little bit after the market opened a little sideways. We got another little surge there for about 30 minutes and then just a total sideways chop all afternoon. This was the bigger picture over here. It's just been in a chop for two days. The uh, AD lines, that's what they look like all afternoon with the SPY just, just chopping. That was that little run up I mentioned this midday. Got that one little surge and the real early morning little surge. Here's the bigger picture. This is what we're on uh, sideways back to the left here. Normally I'll pick this up when it breaks down and, and we'll get a big sell off. That didn't happen, and when it came back up here, that was the second little surge. We went into the sideways motion, and when this one's red, green, red, green, nothing's going to happen. Trading chops, just a big waste. I got an early short out of Facebook and really kept watching it, expected it to sell off some today after that big short cover rally yesterday. Uh, but since we got the breakout early, where yesterday it was so late I didn't want to trade it because I really didn't trust it. I just went ahead and trusted my chart. It gave the signal, gave the perfect pullback, came right back in here and got long on Facebook for a really nice run uh, intraday. And we had that little short earlier that was a pretty good short. I didn't bring that UNH chart in. This is uh, Netflix was chopping sideways here and gave a short uh, signal even though it had done it in and out it was a little bit new lower low and so I kept watching it bouncing off here and then with this next retracement after we had this deep run finally got out of this zone here I like my retracement alerts it went back up on the chart gave the signal price right here to where to come back in it which was uh, 30620, I think, and the 25 is a 50, so it's going to give a good move. 
usually going to get about six factors, which it did. That's uh, 50 times six is three bucks. There's your three dollar move right there. Then it bounced and gave another move. This was the second bounce. Gave about a four or five factor move back up. There's a buck of 50 to two dollars and rejected again. Again, the signal price right on the chart again. Came down again. This was a real quick move late and just uh, scalped it, scalped that off of that pretty quick. And then this was a uh, this was a shorter term right at the end of the day when that little quick move came off of there, came in here and gave a quick two dollars down, and that had bounced right into a support resistance line from earlier in the day. This is a bigger time frame set up on uh, Netflix. This is my 100 factor. It has broke down today, and we expect the breakdowns to give some kind of bounce. It did give some type of bounce. It's back to this level. In the morning, this stock is set up for a short. If it runs back up and intersects this line, which are probably down in the 306 area, by the time this goes up a couple of bucks, that could happen. It could gap up, hit this level for a re-short. So I'm watching Netflix pretty close tomorrow morning. Another stock, just an example of some sectors that are running on their own. PXD, this was on the 9th, gave this nice breakout. I gave our signal, pull back the end of the day. Nice run again on the 10th. Pull back again today and gave another nice run again. That's about a $4 move from down in here. So really nice run on PXD for the last few days. The American Tower this morning had sold off huge yesterday. Middle of the day, I don't remember what the news was, but I know uh, that sector sold off hard. It was sitting here at the end of the day yesterday, setting up for to start working through this area. And we teach get back above our red zone. You're gonna get the the long uh, alert. It gave one right at the close this morning. It get pushed back down right into our line. Came right off of there for a pretty nice little three dollar run here. Triggered the long on this setup at. 138.31 gave a slight pull back and then an, another nice run that actually continued on up about another 75 cents above that area there and it ended up running right into its 50 day moving average the high day was 141.70 141.55 is the 50 day so a logical place for it to hesitate and halt there We don't have much breaking either way. We may have some things worth looking at on the recap list. Here's your bear breaks for the week. We're in the middle of the week, so we've only had three uh, bear breaks, and two of those were green today. A few bull breaks for the week that were, these were all green today. Not a single bear break on the daily. Two or three bull breaks on the daily. None of them had a real big day, so these could be worth looking at, uh, setting up for some bigger moves. A lot of, about half that looks like it's energy related. And we'll look at our recaps. It's our new shorter format video. You don't even need to watch the last 15 minutes. Those are tutorials on the recap sheets and the charts. If you need the tutorial on the charts or about what the graphs mean in the recap with the yellow and red and green lines on the watch list, go over to nine minutes before the end of this video and there's a complete tutorial about the recap grids and about the charts. That's the last part of the video. That's where you'll find the subscribe window and right after that is where the tutorials are. It's the last nine minutes of the video. If you're already familiar with that, you don't need to watch when you get to that point. And that's where this subscribe screen will appear right before the tutorial. Be sure to watch our new video series, Swing Trading Watch List Calls in Action, with charts right off our STS Pivot System charting package. Many charts as they progress through this, the uh, factors, and you'll be able to pick up on some trades many days ahead of what the bull and bear zone breaks show on the swing trade list. 
you'll see charts like this that triggered a short back on the 19th and gave this retracement alert that we traded today on the 21st with the price to re-enter the trade right on the chart red zone retracement. You'll find out more about that right after the recap grids. We got a section there we're going to tell you about that. We're going to look at the bears first. The bull list is actually a lot more interesting. A lot of stocks are still continuing up that broke out on our scanners in the last few days. The bear zone, uh, remember this is five days, one, two, three, four, five, and you can catch the uh, tutorial at the end. It's always there if you need, if you're a new uh, viewer and you want to find out what these yellow and red lines mean, can teach you what they're all about. The uh, couple from yesterday still in the bear zone, but they actually had green days today. We've got a uh, this stock keeps laying here. Not a whole lot going on on the bears. O'Reilly continued down. It's not in the, staying in the newly calculated bear zone, but it's real close right there. It looks like it's barely out. Had a little red day yesterday and then headed back down today on O'Reilly. It's at the 200 week I see down here on this lower chart. <clears throat> and then the bigger list that was. Uh, came off the other day there's not a whole lot of uh, really continuing down they may continue down more some of them had red days some had green days there's only uh, not a single one on there we got two with still momentum to the downside uh, and red days so they're probably the most interesting ones on the list remember we go to the recap so you can pause the video you can get a good look at the entire list of stocks that they are generally alphabetic we're going to take a look at those bulls, a lot more interesting items on the bulls. This video is being brought to you by STS Pivot System Charting Package for day traders, swing traders, and option traders. Easy to follow charts and scanners, trigger prices right on the charts on the setups. We teach two trades long and two trades short. That's all. It's that simple. Just like you see on this chart, the trigger price for this trade was in the corner over here. From this point on with this price posted not to take it up here and it did not trigger but it wasn't posted as a trigger anyway came back this is a classic beautiful setup breaks right here 167.26 was our trigger price and we develop these same lines where you can overlay them on your shorter term charts this is a two minute by not taking that trade early when it went up here to 167.11, you avoided this 30 something minute pause here. It's not quite 30, about 15 minutes. This was a 60 something cent pullback by waiting on our trigger price to get in the trade here. And we were predicting that trigger price. This didn't go green until this happened. You have that up arrow where we're showing the price to go long at. And as soon as it triggers, it immediately gives a go short because it's so close to flipping back over so that's exactly where it occurred was right here and that is how simple that package is to use trigger prices right on your charts got a seven day free trial offer 10 day money back guarantee once you get this set up it's 69 dollars a month and we're extending as a courtesy if you take this package Full access to the website, including the trade room, if you want to come in and out of there as well. It's not part of the charting package, but it's an offer we're letting you come in if you want to. And I mentioned this in a video about a week ago that we were going to do this. Any previous member to Day Trader Setups from day one ever paid a dollar to us, this $69 fee is waived. You can come in and try the seven day trial, no outlay of cash whatsoever. If you decide you want to go with this package, then you can sign up. Quite a get bit more on the uh, bullish stocks today. Continuations. Remember, these are today's stocks. These are yesterday, day before, day before, day before. We didn't have any on four days back. And remember, we are scanning for uh, 5,000 stocks here, or a, a big part of 5,000 list. 
you got a lot of stocks still had up days some were bigger than others uh, this stock for instance is 282 up today 581 since we gave the break at 10730 is what that means and we are still maintaining bull zone at the newly calculated higher level sometimes in this case I'm not sure it's moved since the breakout yesterday when it does move this keeps in line with the current level so you got a lot of still pretty strong stocks a lot of them are in the energy sector again uh, continuing up here here's another great energy stock it continued up today after a big day yesterday and you can see uh, PXD is another one we looked at it earlier on one of our algo charts and like I said a lot of this is energy you can see the one still with my momentum indicator with the yellow trend stability uh, in the green and then the check mark with the green box and this from two days ago the entire list still strong had a couple of hesitators today um, again most of this is energy related just to continue to move right along And let's see what we got down here. Nothing on that particular day. I need to slide this down. You can get a look at the very bottom of that list and get you a view of five days ago. A lot of these are kind of a mixed bag. Some of them continue to move. Got momentum. This one in particular has come back down under the bull zone uh, line, so it's not above it anymore. It is above where it broke out five days ago because that bull zone was way down here at the time. That's what I'm talking about by recalculating. Still got some pretty strong stocks on this list. That is the entire list there. It's only 16 from five days ago. Thanks for watching our video. Uh, hopefully we'll get some consolidation stuff. Remember, that's really what we're looking for here is to take these stocks. You look on your charts, find the ones that are breaking out of consolidation, and then you can pick you up some good uh, stocks to be watching multiple days. If you want to get a quicker jump on a lot of this stuff, our STS pivot system charting package is available through our website. You can find out more about it. It's a licensed product through NinjaTrader. You can actually run that on about a $72.00 symbol uh, kinetic data package or possibly even uh, through a free link that's explained on our website. You can go over to daytradersetups.com, click on Ninja 8 charting package and find out more about that. Subscribe to our channel, follow us on Twitter, Stock Twits. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel while you're here and follow us on Twitter and follow us on Stock Twits. And go over to daytradersetups.com, click on Ninja 8 Charting, and you can learn more about our STS. Pivot System Charting Package. Thanks for watching. This is a tutorial on our recap sheet. What you will see here is this column here is the weekly list. It's at the beginning on the weekly bear and bull breaks. The daily bull breaks and bears depending on which one we're looking at. And then you will have five days following first day second third fourth fifth so what's here today will be here tomorrow it will shift over to here then to here then to here so you got five days you can go back and look the price here you got the bull zone trigger price 3680 this is the price of the profit since this alert this is the net change on the stock for today so tomorrow when this shifts over here this number will be the same where we triggered it at. That number will stay in here for four days. The profit will be shown based on the current price of the stock in the day compared to this price on the alert. Like for instance on this stock, $3.48 profit from this break based on this close price up 92 cents today. This number is the profit at the high since we alerted it. It's the most profitable it's been. It got up to four dollars and twenty seven cent profit. Pull back closed at three forty eight. As you go on over like this stock here, SMTC. This was the break. 
This is the profit so far since the first day, $5.61 four days later, and at the peak it was $6.31 profit. That's what these columns mean. The next part you'll find is this yellow line. It represents what I'm going to show you over here in just a moment, momentum. It can be on a bull or bear chart. And then trend stability, if it's green, it represents on the bulls and the bears will show a red line for trend stability. The last part you'll want to know about is these check marks. They represent the bull zone as it progresses higher. Could be the same as yesterday. Down here, this could be the bull zone that's gotten higher and higher and higher as this stock went along. And it means it's still maintaining the bull zone uh, levels, even the new ones that staying above them. This is what the bear grid looks like. Looks the very same. Got the weekly one day, two day, three day, four day, five day. So you got a chance to see the stability of the trade. You know if it was up or down today after winning a bear zone the day before. The stability, the momentum, and the, the bear zone level with the check mark. the video we will take this page and we will slide these up and down so you have a chance to pause the video and see every single stock that's in the list then we'll move it up where you can see these items and you can pause the video and then you can see every single symbol in the list you can go to your charts and look up what's going on so that's what's in each one of these grids the current day Day before, day before, day before, day before. So going back four days, you got your weekly there. And all this is right here is something I prepare for myself. I take this day, this day, and this day, combine them into this watch list every day, and that's what I carry forward over to my scanners. And just a quick part about what we mean by these levels changing. This is the bull zone level that the check mark represents the stock staying above. But the bull zone level when this stock broke out was way down here. This was the first breakout. And then as it recalculated our bull zone, that's what the green check mark means, is it's maintaining momentum. The yellow line represents this line that is our minimum mo momentum indicator used on down or up trades. And then our bull zone levels where it first broke out. And that's all these mean, trend stability, this is a line we use here, and we come in and we call it trend stability, and that's what this represents here. The, this line is solid green rather than dotted. It's something we look at on the lows of the day, not being low enough for us not to qualify for trend stability. So that's all these columns mean. So you'll be able to refer to the strength of the stock that is maintaining high enough lows to stay trend stable what the profit is if you're staying above the bull zone. That's how you'll use this. And that's your tutorial on the grids. This is a mini tutorial on what the lines mean on my charts if you're a first time viewer or been a while since you viewed. We're scanning on weekly and daily charts for my condition. When this green line is up is my bull zone red line is up is my bear zone. You need to be aware of support and resistance lines and act what charts do at levels and that's what these levels are for. Just quickly as I can do this and we're going to put a video on YouTube getting more from your swing trading charts that will be more detailed and look at more stocks how they react to these lines but the gist of what you see here this is what I'm scanning for and as you can see here this showed up in the bear zone it did go down for a few days but these green lines are support and that's why it fought for a few days tried to bounce back up headed back down again came right back into the bull zone a bear zone excuse me and continued on down now the lines here's what they represent a green line is a place that a stock went up to and rejected. So as this green line redrew itself every time we made highs right here and then it stayed across here for reference points continues the same line here for reference points. Resistance when you get above it becomes support. 
this green line was drawn way back in the history and when this stock broke above this resistance level when it came back down it held it it held it it held it it tested it and held it held it again and again that was support that's why I want you to be aware of what these lines mean you'll see them on my charts and then the activity that stocks do sometimes they go that's my first target that's my second target many times stocks go target one pull back a little target two then they may pull all the way back to one and go again if they're continuing an uptrend in this case it did the pull back this blue line is a 50 period moving average this orange line is a 200 so that's what I want you to be aware of as well and then I have a pivot system that consists of this blue line at the top yellow line at the bottom and my target one and target two you'll see this particular day this stock gap down huge gap down open way down here the low on the stock was 169.68 I'm getting that right out of this box over here and the value of that yellow line was 169.67 within one cent it held that line and bounced that day for a huge bounce it's not a support level but it's where I look for stocks to try to hold and it's where I look if I'm short say from here this is where I'm looking to get out I'm looking to move two levels target one target two going up target one target two the pink lines all represent places the stock has gone down to and bounced this pink line is referencing this last pivot low so as you're selling down into it it may bounce again if you get below it then it becomes resistance and that's all these lines mean I just want you to know what they mean going forward thanks for watching the video let's get started